We have made it to the end of the season with the Detroit Pistons, and this has been a year to remember. Not only have we locked up the number one seed in the East, we've also already locked up the best record in the NBA. We were 64 and 17. Hopefully, we're gonna make it 65 and 17. That's the hope at least. We had almost, actually, I think it was the highest points per game in the league. Let me see, just to be sure. Yeah, highest points per game in the league. And I think the fifth best points allowed per game in the league for an 11 diff. The only one that did better was the Houston Rockets. And with their team, kind of see why. The team as a whole, though, played very good this year. Cade had 27.9, six boards, seven and a half assists, a steal, even almost a block per game. Hardy still shooting lights out, 24 points per game on the season. Jalen, who we brought in to kind of be our third scorer, did exactly that at 21.3 points per game and Stewart yet again averaging a double double on the year with two blocks per game as well for the center position we kind of went back and forth I had Stoic playing for part of the season when he'd go cold I'd put in sharp and then he would play and then once Stoic lost you know the is cold I'd put him back in it was kind of like a hot hand type of thing at the center position and they both had a Pretty, pretty good season. I mean, Stoic, first year with us, nine points a game, almost seven boards, almost two blocks. Sharp, who was a little bit better of a rebounder when he came in, he had seven points a game, uh, seven boards, and still almost a block per game as well. So they both did what they had to do. I, I'm hoping that Stoic takes a huge step forward next year in the progression so that we can kind of get like a a true number five player because right now it's we're kind of just waiting to see who breaks out between stoic sharp and stanley and bassy's even in the mix now shit shake milton did very good with us uh at being kind of the sixth flex seventh man same with dinwiddie getting both of these guys in was actually really good i think for the team especially for badges progression things of that nature bring a little bit of veteran leadership as well and they both had decent seasons. Unfortunately, Shake is hurt. He's day-to-day -day right now. Hopefully, he'll get back for the playoffs. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. But he sprained his left toe, so he's been out for almost three weeks now. So hopefully, he can get back as soon as possible. Now, I would say that Cade probably going to win with those stats. MVP, right? And now with Luka Doncic out here. Uh, he had a season. Uh, 30 points a game. Seven boards a game. Eight boards a game, sorry. Almost 10 assists per game, a steal per game, and almost a block per game as well. Like, lights out. Shot 53% from the field. Like, just absolute insanity. If he doesn't win it, I don't even know what we're doing here. But I mean, right behind him, I mean, we have Cade, who had a great season. And Hardy actually wasn't too far behind. He's sitting in 12th for points per game. Like, he wasn't that far behind. Stewart, top 10 rebounder as well. I mean, oh, the, the team just played, the team just played lights out this year. Super, super happy with where we are at right now. And even with how well we're doing, we still have so much draft capital. We'll have to wait and see what happens with the playing tournament they do for, for draft lottery now. But I mean, we're sitting right now with the fourth pick, fifth pick projected, and there's another one. <laughs> There's another one. It's just, we have so much draft capital right now. I'm probably going to have to do a lot of trading here in the off season. But even though we're having a really great season, we still have a lot of draft capital to potentially, you know, draft either people that are going to replace. We'll have to see what happens with Hardy. God, I hope we don't lose him, but he might ask for too much money. We'll have to wait and see. Or if we're looking for maybe another big man. You know, if I don't think that that Sharp or Bassey or Stanley or Stoic are the true surefire answer i got a lot of opportunity to get it right the thing that sucks though is this is the year that all of the money is busted like it's not working so my scouting right now is very bad because we don't really have any scouts working the system right now i have lebron james as my head scout so that's the one downside 
to having all this draft capital is the game is kind of borked right now money wise and i don't have the scouting going on which could hurt us in our draft picks but this is where we're sitting with the team right now we have Cade cunningham sitting at a 95 overall after his great season that he's had hardy in the two spot jalen in the three stewart in the four spot stoic is going to be playing the five spot getting about 29 minutes a game then we have dinwiddie sharp stanley and mullins is our flex right now with shake being out so these are the people we're going to be running with for our final game and our final game i think is very fitting we are going up against the cleveland cavaliers that same cavaliers team that embarrassed the hell out of me last year in the playoffs and the team we're looking at is garland cj mccollum isaac okoro evan mobley and chet holmgren who is an absolute monster so Stoyer's gonna have his hands full here in this final game of the season i want to get some revenge against the Cavs, get a win going into the playoffs and hopefully we just have like next week is just playoff week for the detroit pistons that's the hope let's go out see what we can do against the cleveland cavaliers maybe get a taste of revenge and catapult ourselves into the playoffs Let's head out to the court. All right, here we go. Hey, let's see if we can win, uh, win another tip-off. Got a little bit of streak going here. Hey! Here we are. Straight in to start it. Cunningham, baby. It's just... He has such a fast first step that it's a little ridiculous. Oh. Woo! Hopefully he doesn't do that here. I believe in Stoic though. This is a this is a different team too with Jalen this year. We're running. I try to get contact. When I got in deep, I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't uh, I shouldn't have uh, I shouldn't have drove it there. He just buried that right in Jalen's face. When I got in deep there, I shouldn't have took that shot. To the inside. Oh, Stoic. Big, big man. His standing dunk is so good. He just posterizes anybody. He doesn't even care. Nope. Oh, oh, I thought I got the block on it. Oh. Beautiful. Such a good pick and roll system with this team. We just set huge screens. I don't know why you're playing so far off. I actually don't like that you are. Oh, he's buttered. Damn. I'm actually surprised that wasn't a greenie there. Nice. Beautiful. We take that any day of the week. Kate is just so good. Man, Jalen, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take control, of Jalen here, because uh, he's just getting he's giving way too much space. Oh, nice little reverse around there. Get that shit out of here. And one. Oh. I was like, give me that and one. I think that. uh God, I'm, I'm, should I jinx it? I'm probably going to jinx it right here, but I think this year is going to be a little bit different than last year in the playoffs. All right. I think it's going to be a little bit different this year. Damn. Get fucking stuffed. No. That was my guy. See you later, buddy. See you later, buddy. Oh, baby. What a... Good shit. Good, 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 good. Man, look at Chet. Look at... Dude, Holmgren playing lockdown perimeter defense. Jeez, OP oh, Heats. I couldn't get past him. Nice. I actually got in there. 
Ooh, okay. He doesn't miss too many. Again, I think we we were top we were top five free free throw shooters this year again. We got some we got some guys that can bury it from the line, which is good because we have a lot of people who drive. Yeah. I just can't get those I can't get it through those picks with Jalen. Nice. Stanley can't shoot those. God, why'd I shoot that? That was stupid. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Good defense. And Cunningham's too good. So, beautiful. 13 in the first for Cunningham here. Beautiful. I mean, it's just... Just easy. I'd take that time out too if I was you. Look at three point leaders. Wow. 41%. Holy cow. That's just silly. That is insane. D, good D, good D, good D, good D, good D. Get out to it. What are you doing, Dinwiddie? One person I, I am going to miss till he comes back is Shake. Shake coming in late was always good. Oh, oh, why didn't you just go up strong with a Cody or slasher, buddy? That was a good foul. That was a good foul. I don't know why. I don't know why Odie didn't just go up and slam that thing. He was in free. Fortunately, he just passed it up a little bit. Damn. Off to a good he can drain those. Tell you, good veteran to bring in. So it's the Cavaliers now, following the three by Detroit, and he gets it back. That one goes in. What a shot! Good job. I mean, that was good by by Stanley. I can't even be mad at that. Here we go. Good job, Mullins. It's actually, I'm actually really happy to get him going. We have a lot of young guards forwards. That was a good move. Oh, let's go, Mullins. Let's go. Crash. Nice. Running it. All right, got a little greedy. A little greedy. Touch greedy. <laughs> Try to hit the high hand, you know what I'm saying? Get out to him. I got stuck on everybody. Nice. Cunningham might actually get a triple double here. Jesus. Easy. I mean, it's just that first step. That first step, dude. What does he have? Was he have 20 here in the first quarter? Like. What? No. 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 That was. Dude, that was clean. Don't give me that. I mean, look, you want to double him up? Go right ahead. Double him up all you want, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, I said what I say. I want, I want some revenge. I think Cunningham got that message because I think he wants it too. Cunningham getting a must-needed rest. What they need to do is they need... They need to they need to feed they need to feed Holmgrim is what they need to do. I do like that they're not. Easy. Cause that's what dude, that's what uh, kinda beat us. <laughs> what? Did he get a second block there? That's what they need to do though. They just need to feed Holmgrim. But I mean it, it is different. We got a strike this time. Big lanky dude. Like like I said, it's a different team this year for sure. Jalen as well. Nice. That was some patience right there. Middle of the pack and assists. It's because we run a lot of ISO. It's an ISO offense. All the way through. Yep, feed him. Feed him. Just feed him. 
That was a little too deep. <laughs> okay, Jalen. That was way too deep, but worked out. Butter it. Yep. Yep. Gotta feed him. He's he's one of your best scorers. Ah, Chet. Fuck you. Nice. Please switch off. We're good. Ah, uh, that was ugly. That was ugly. That was ugly. Get out to him. We're trying to throw here. Stop it. Damn. Probably should have done a little bit of a step back there. I don't like this matchup. Oh, I don't like this matchup. Switch back. Switch back. These are such bad matchups right here. Oh my gosh, those were terrible. We were all sorts of switch switched up there. Dang it, dude! I thought we got. We, I, th I thought we could get in clean there. Okay. Yeah. Let's settle it down. Let's settle it down a little bit. Easy. Easy. I'm here. Let's go, baby. No. That's just terrible, terrible luck. We get a block and he gets it right back and just kicks it out to an open, open man. Butter. We'll just take it right back. Okay, Jalen. Okay. I see you. I see you out there. What is this? What is this? What is this? Okay, we're good. Oh my. Okay, Stoyich. We'll take it. If I had to guess, I would guess that Stoyich is probably going to be the guy who uh, kind of takes the reins as the fifth starter. He's got the length. He's got the athleticism. If we can get his shooting up and his post, con his overall post control, he's going to be absolutely disgusting. That's busted in half. Oh, what? That was busted. That whole play was busted in half. That play sucked. Oh, baby. How do you stop that is right? I don't think it, you can, honestly. Ah, not bad. Not bad foul there. Jesus. Wait, why are they putting him up there? That's not Kate Cunningham. Good foul. Good foul. What are you doing? What what was Mullins doing? You're wide open. You're wide open down there, buddy. You're wide open. Just just sit down there. <laughs> just just sit down under the hoop. You're wide, buddy. I got I got caught. Oh, I couldn't recover back. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dude. Man, I can't, I cannot protect the rock with Mullins, dude. It's like his third turnover, I think. Damn. Wow, they've really brought this back, huh? Went from blowout to blowout to we got ourselves a game. Too many turnovers. Oh, damn. That was a good pass right there, too. Boy, we're gonna get we're gonna get them into the bonus before this is all said and done. They're just they're driving it in on us. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. First the Rockets, huh? Okay. And they tied up. So much for revenge, huh? <clears throat> Nice. Thank you, Sharp. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah, that's butter. That's all day butter. Hardy may miss the occasional three-pointer, but one thing he doesn't do, he doesn't miss mid-range, especially wide open. Like, he's just automatic. Almost automatic. Nice shot. Sharp needs to challenge that a little bit more. 
He's too good. I mean, he has, he's sitting at a 99.3. Like, 99.3, 99 mid-range, 99 close. Like... Damn. We need that board. We freaking need that board. We can't let them get that one. You can't let that happen. <laughs> you can't let that happen, dude. 29 in the first half so far. What a shot. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> Give me that. Hey, I came. Good defense. He missed it. <laughs> After all that, he missed it. He missed the buzzer beater layup, dude. Dang. 69 to 62. This kind of turned into a game, huh? I thought this was going to be a blowout. That's a negative. We'll see what the second half brings. When we come back, Detroit Pistons. Here we go. Back in the second half. We shot really well that first half. I think we were 66% from the field. Yeah, that's on me. I don't know if that's going to continue. I mean, if we could continue shooting with Cunningham the way we've been shooting with Cunningham. Nice. Good dish. Cunningham has got to be almost at a double-double. Maybe even close to a triple-double at this point. Damn. Get out. Nice. Nope. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Holmgrim is... That's gonna be butter. Oh. Uh, Holmgrim's way too good at protecting at protecting Rim. Driving in on him is really tough. He tried, he tried to take a charge. I don't know if you saw me set up. He set up to take a charge, and I got around him and just blasted it down. Let's go, baby. Damn it. Jump ball. Oh, you don't not gonna get jump ball? Don't try to shoot that. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Let's put the pedal down. That's not what I, I just wanted to do a little, little, little easy fallback right there. That, I don't know what the hell that was. That is not what I wanted to do though. That's for damn sure. Damn. A little bit more lockdown D this, this half. Starting for the Cavs. A lot more face guarding too, especially on Cunningham. Not allowing, not allowing like passes into Cade at all. He's trying to make up for it by cutting to the basket, but it's just not there. Playing some good defense. Nice. I'm surprised we can get contact on that first one there. 10.9, 10. Almost two blocks per game, too, for Stewart. I think that might be his first two points of the game right there. Let's go, baby. What? Oh my god, I think I accidentally slipped off the stick and hit pass there. Oh my god. Well, that's not what I wanted to do because that was f probably free, honestly. Easy. He's wide open, even if we slightly early or slightly late that. Probably going to bury it. I probably, we probably should have let that go. Holmgren could shoot free throws. It's going to be more free points for him. Oh my gosh. Let's go, Brown. <laughs> Having him as our third scorer, it's just, it is, it's just not fair. Okay. Damn. Last 30 days, they have number one and two, Mobley and Holmgren. God dang, dude. That's actually, that's actually clutch. Oh my gosh. That little setback that he's got is just dangerous. 
Absolutely dangerous. What a pick. Oh my gosh, Stanley. 63%. By far the best shooting. By far the best shooting we've had. Almost. We're shooting kind of lights out right now, though. Yeah, Holmgren's going to bury that. Every day of the week. God, Stanley. Your athleticism is nice, buddy, but... And that's nice, too. Boom! Let's go, Brown. 21 for him. Ah, dang. Let's go, Mullins! Way to get back, dude. Way to get back, Mullins. Nice. Nice. What a screen. It's just, like, it's such a huge... It's such a huge pick. Getting through that, not gonna happen. I mean, <laughs> you can't, you can't do that. You just, you can't do that. Charge. Let's go. Oh, just go up strong with it, dude. He's going to bury that. Just go up strong with it. You're backing him down. Here you go. You got another chance here. There we go. He went for the block or the strip. Yeah. <sighs> Sharp's one of our worst free throw shooters. Yeah, but we got the foul on, so that's good. I mean, terrible foul. Terrible foul to give. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Four point play. Yes, that is something. We needed that. I mean, wide open. Nice. Beautiful. What a what a pass. What a freaking pass that was. Man, that sure looked like a block to me. Instead of a foul, that that sure looked like a block. Cunningham's back in. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. How's late on it? We're going to the fourth quarter, though, with the lead, though, so I'll take it. Wasn't wasn't exactly how the game started, you know? It's a lot closer than I thought it was going to be, but we're still shooting lights out right now on the court, so we just got to continue that into the fourth here. We're going to do it right here. Start with Cunningham. Wow, what a freaking drive. Only 8% covered on that? Really? That's not that. There's no contact there? Oh, he closed out. He closed out super fast. Jesus, that was, he got me all sorts of turned around. I like all of that, though. Jesus. I got caught on Stoic there. That was highly unlucky. Garland at only nine points is a thing of beauty. Yeah, all day. All day. It's just all day. Cunningham has to be close. He has to be close. To a triple double he's probably gonna play the rest of the i'm gonna guess he's gonna play the rest of the quarter not the move i wanted to make damn it what a pass oh one point game all right we were really making this interesting <laughs> imagine leaving that for cunningham free nice cut that was actually a beautiful cut right there I just got absolutely embarrassed. 
early. Still got it. I don't know. I could, dude, I was just stuck in mud right there. I don't know why. That was really weird. Jesus. Didn't need the, didn't need the, like the little bit of a pump fake there. Could have just went up and just laid it in. Said he like did this like weird like pump fake. I don't know what that was. Oh, I wanted it. He gave me, he gave me a little bit of room there. Okay, yeah, we get it. You guys are kind of heating up here. All right. Well, this isn't good. Come on, baby. Nice. Come on. Way early on that. Way freaking early on that. What? What are you? Why did you switch off? Why are you switching off? Stay on him. I have Chet Holmgren, dude. What are we doing? Oh boy. All right, I'm falling apart here. That's okay. Not a not a bad not a bad foul to take there. Why does Cleveland have my number? Why does Cleveland have my number, dude? I don't like it. <laughs> I don't I don't like it at all. The first quarter was so good. There we go. Okay. We got a bucket. We got a bucket here. Everybody's a little gassed right now. I'm getting caught on people. And he's going to bury that triple right in his face. There we go. You're not going to give me an and one here? Are you freaking kidding me? Of course it goes right back to him. We block. Oh my gosh. It goes right back to him, dude. Nice, Hardy. <laughs> Here we go. Let's go, baby. No. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Good stops and goes. Stop and goes right there. Oh, you just... And then you come back, Hardy, and you literally just like, here, just have a free three-pointer. I don't... Yeah, just take it for free. Here's Brown going inside. Gee, okay, okay, chat. Like, settle the fuck down, dude. All right, buddy. Let's just settle down. That should be an easy dunk. Like, I don't need your shit right now, okay? There's a screen. Five to shoot. And one. Oh, six for six from three point for Jalen. Okay. I mean, I'm here for that. I mean, they've hit a stride. I mean, yes, please. Only 36% here in the second half. Good defense. Good defense. No! 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 What a great little body block in there. Just give it to him, Zane. You freaking idiot, dude. Good shit, dude. Good D, good D, good D, good D, good D. Get there! Needed that board. Oh my god, I needed that board. Need it. Really needed it. Really needed it, dude. That is so unfortunate. Damn. Damn. God, I fell apart in the second half, huh? That's it. Dang it. 
after after the first quarter that I had, we came out and just put a stinker down. I don't know if it was the the turnovers or 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 what it was. I don't know what it was, but man, I fell apart there. The fourth quarter shooting killed us too. Cleveland has my number. I, I, I'm convinced. Hopefully we don't run into them in the playoffs. They got my number. They got my number. Plain and simple. Cunningham had a freaking monster game though. I'll say that. He had a monster game. We go into the playoffs on a loss. Overall, still a hell of a season. Cunningham finished with 39 points, 11 boards, 12 assists. What a man among boys. 17 of 31 from the field. Jalen had 29 for himself. 10 of 16, which is great. Hardy had 17. He heated up there at the end. Stoic, 14 points, 10 boards, 5 blocks. I mean, hell of a game out of Stoic as well. Where is... Wait, where is... Uh, there he is. Only 6 points for Stewart. 5 boards, 1 assist. It was Holmgren again, wasn't it? It's always Holmgren. Holmgren always just... He shits on me. He shits on me. 31 points, 13 boards. Four blocks to go along with it, too. Mobley in 15, 12, and 4 as well. Like, they're big men. Holmgren with the stretch ability that he has, he he hurts me. And Mobley is just like a, a reboarding machine. But that's where we close out the season. Let's go uh, get to the playoffs and see what the playoffs look like for us for when we start. Hopefully, playoff week. Playoff week next week that's the hope at least i am absolutely amazed but cade cunningham wins mvp it's probably because the team actually did very well wow first mvp of his career and he is still so 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 young oh what a beauty he is 28 points six boards seven assists over a steal a game and almost a block per game rookie of the year is larry lyden 12 points, 10 boards, 5 assists, almost 2 blocks. That's a, that is a hell of a season right there. Good for him. Sixth man of the year is Ben Simmons. Okay. All right. That's, uh, wasn't expecting that. 11 points, 6 boards, 6 assists, 2 steals, and a block a game. Defensive player of the year. I think that, what is this, the 35th year in a row? Giannis takes it home. I mean, the guy's just, he's a monster. He's going to be a monster until he retires. Most improved player, Usman Garuba. 10 points, 7.5 boards, 4 assists, a steal, and a block. Coach of the year, Dwayne Casey. I've kept him on. I have kept him on this entire time. I liked the, 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 the trajectory that he was going, and it's been paying dividends. So, Dwayne Casey, coach of the year, which means... Leroy Jenkins. That's us. Is the executive of the year. Makes sense. I mean, 64 and 18. 98 overall offense. Oh, overall. 99 offense, 98 defense. I mean, come on now. Looking pretty good. But this is the big one right here. Cade Cunningham. All right, let's get the playoffs. These are the playing games we have. Let's see what happens here. All right. Dallas won it. And then between Utah and Sacramento, Utah won. So we got Houston, Utah, Golden State. OKC is going to be tough. OKC is going to be very, very tough. OKC and Houston on the West are very good. That's going to be interesting to see what plays out here. Memphis and Denver, New Orleans and Dallas. Dallas the seventh seed this year. Over on the East, okay. Okay. Knicks snuck in. Hopefully that's a game that we can take. Please. Please, please. So we got us versus Detroit. Us versus Detroit. Detroit versus the Knicks. Atlanta, Philly, Boston, Charlotte, Cleveland, the two seed against Brooklyn, the seven. We could meet Cleveland in the conference championship. I almost hope that doesn't happen because I'll tell you uh, right now, I'm a little, I'm a little scared. I'm scared if we meet them in the playoffs. But hopefully, we can get past the Knicks. Uh, shit. Hopefully, we can sweep them. I'm being completely real here. Hopefully we just sweep them. But that'll be next week. We will have NBA playoff week next week. I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. Hopefully this is the year we take the Pistons to the promised land. That would be a thing of beauty. Until then though, thank you so much for stopping by. I greatly appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video. Thank you very, very much. I hope you have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. Me and the Pistons will be back.
for our playoff run. Catch you then.